So you want to you want to make it the end of the universe, and you're coming out. Um, and uh, how are you going to do that? Like, just because now is a good time to start a business doesn't mean it's easy to start a business. Uh, in fact, it's always hard. There's not going to be any surefire way to to instant success. There's not going to be any get rich quick schemes that's going to work um, for you. But before you can even get started, I think the most important thing for you to realize is that you have to unlearn your MBA. Uh, and I'm treating MBA here as a sort of a general grab bag for business school management theories and um, I think that's probably as, as kind as I can put it. Uh, I spent three years at Copenhagen Business School, and I would probably say that, according to my estimations, 96.7% of the time was completely wasted. It has nothing to do with what I actually do today, uh, and it has no impact on what I actually uh, work with every day. In fact, I came out slightly damaged. Um, I came out with a head that had been soaking in management theory for three years, and it was actually a little off. Uh, it was not very well suited for uh, the real world of just building a product, pleasing customers, and um, making profits as a business. Because that's really not what you learn. And you have to just sort of readjust and recalibrate when you come out of school to, uh, to that reality. That nobody cares about a 20-page report on um, Five forces. Like, it just doesn't matter. There's none of your customers that's going to think, oh, well, did you do your five forces for this uh, setup? No? All right, then we're not going to buy your product. It just doesn't matter. So all of these tools that you've learned are only for you. They're not going to impress anybody else when you start your own business. And what you learn is that when you're starting your own business, um, and all businesses start small, is that none of it is relevant. Like, when you have two people, three people, five people, Nobody's going to do all the heavy-handed management theory on it. It's just irrelevant because it's not targeted to your size. That might be fine for a management retreat at IBM's second-level management somewhere in uh, Florida. Like, that's going to impress the rest of the group, I'm sure, but it's not going to impress any of your customers.